Hello, everybody, and welcome in to another edition of Inside Pitch here at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I'm Ben Fredrickson, in alongside Jeff Gordon, and today we've got a little bit to talk about, Gordo. Oh, yeah. The Cardinals, over the weekend, make the move to fire Mike Matheny and move forward with interim manager Mike Schilt. They have said that Schilt is going to get what John Moselec said was a, an extended interview, mm -hmm. 69 games, to, uh, to try to prove why he should be the manager moving forward, while they're also doing their due diligence mm -hmm. on, uh, on a potential manager search. Where things stand right now, with the Cardinals preparing to come back from the All-Star break, where do you think Schilt's chances are of keeping this job long-term are, and who are some other names that you've seen, talked about, or that you would like to maybe be considered if the Cardinals look to get someone besides the interim manager, Mike Schilt? Yeah, there's so much to look at here. What does a team do from here on out? Boy, thanks for the job. You got five games against the Cubs. You can, If you win three of those games, you, you stay in the hunt, you show some it's a promise you get some guys on track. The new hitting coaches have an impact on the guys. You get things going. You see a reason to go forward. Hey, great for Mike. He turns things around. But um, the other thing that could help him, if they decide, you know what, maybe we need to just go younger and start building around a younger group, maybe that helps him as, as well, given his uh, teaching and communication skills. I've, I like the idea of just going outside cold and bringing a fresh voice in like Joe Girardi. So there's like two extremes, stay internal with Mike or Stubby Clapp in the organization or go get an established guy from outside to come in and say, hey, look, you need to fix all these things. I don't think that Schilt getting the interim tag means that internal candidates are out of the running if they were to, uh, to look at not going with Schilt. Maybe a guy like Jose Okendo could Maybe. make a plea. Um, we don't know his interest level. It seems to change depending on the, on the situation. I do think that Schilt is... It's his job to lose at this point, and uh, that's why he was tabbed as the interim, and that's why the Cardinals have kind of groomed him for this. I think you're going to see a, a style of management that fans are going to like maybe more than the, the previous one, and players have praised him really um, for, for everything from his, his approach to his energy to his communication, and I think they're going to like his tactical thinking. Um, I think they're going to like that as well. So a lot of these guys know Schilt. I think the players know him a lot more, a lot better than the fans know him because right. he has coached for you know almost a decade in the Cardinals minor leagues. So I would say that uh, you know if the team goes on a run under him, if it makes a push, um, I don't know if they have a win total in mind, but they've got some some marks they want to see hit. They want to see the team run the bases better. They want to see the team play more fundamental baseball. They want to see a better energy about the team. And if they can, if Schilt can lead to those things, I think it's going to really help his case. Girardi's a fascinating name because he's very close with, with President of Baseball mm -hmm. Operations, Sean Moselock. Fired in New York, has a ring, comes with that clout, um, but also comes with some of the maybe the same, I guess, uh, concerns that, that, that were brought up about Mike Matheny by the time his end was here. And may, can he relate to young players? Is he, is he going to buy in on the, on the metric side of things now that things are moving that way? So that would be something that I think the Cardinals would want to hear from him about where he is. And, and, and the big question is if he wants to do this. Um, he did say this week that I want to manage again. Now, he's not going to talk about the Cardinals spot specifically with uh, Mike Schilt and this opportunity, but he does want to manage again, so he's a name to keep an eye on. Some other guys that we've heard uh, brought up, um, Derek Gould mentioned some candidates here at the Post-Dispatch. Not to be the manager, but in the post dispatch, that right. could be the manager for the Cardinals. Um, Mark McGuire's name is going to be brought up. But one of the names that is interesting to me is Carlos Beltran um, because he kind of fits that mold of, of players turned managers in this day and age. And he had his, the respect of guys in that clubhouse still. And, uh, and I think that when you, get a, when you get an interview for the Yankees job, it means that you might might be considered elsewhere too. So those are some names we're kicking around. I think it's safe to say it's Schilt's job to lose, and we'll see how the Cardinals play on this big trip to Chicago. Will he bunt guys from second to third base? Is that a good strategy? Stay tuned. We'll find out. That could that could decide the whole thing. For Jeff Gordon, I'm Ben Fredrickson. This is another edition of Inside Pitch. Keep it locked on STLtoday.com for all of your Cardinals coverage. <laughs>